today. I got this package in the mail. Uh, it's only a small package, but I was very excited. So I opened it already. I'm sorry for that. I always like to open things fast because I'm too excited for them. So let's get started. First of all, I got these rock pieces out of there and I <laughs> couldn't figure out how to put them back in. It was a very, very tight space inside of the box. So I'll just show them like this. Got some of these burps, the big ugly rock pieces in dark tan. Uh, these appear in sets like I think the Batcave, uh, got some other one, the Ninjago one I think with the, the secret Samurai X uh, cave, I'm guessing so. But four of these probably use them in the underwater section uh, because I like how they look underwater, it looks cool. I was thinking about using these in the Batcave but I think the Batcave needs some more dark grey uh, burps because Batman likes it dark. Dark tan is nice as well, but I think it makes it a bit more dark. So, either way, I'm gonna empty out this box. Let's pour out all the insides. Let's see if it's empty. It is empty, all right. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff out of here. I'm gonna move it all to the side to show you one by one. So, first of all, starting with the boring stuff, we got some uh, six, ten pieces, two by two plates. Always come in handy, not sure for what, but whatever. Always holding pieces like that because they always come in useful and they always seem to be missing whenever you need them, so that's why. Just the same with these dark tan uh, one by twos. Just bought these in combination with the rocks, probably gonna gonna put them together in some sort of way, so we'll see how that turns out. But same with this, if I would ever need it, now I got some. Uh, next up, some more tan. One by two plate pieces, so again, same motive as the last ones. Uh, then some black two by twos, these were very cheap, so I thought, okay, I'm just, just gonna buy some of these. Normally, I have a lot of those still, but now I got them all together. Then <laughs> this very, very sad little bag <laughs> of two one by one brick pieces, but you never know when you can use these and they, they were extremely cheap as well so i thought why not put them in my cart all right on to the next thing we got some i think how many pieces are these like 10 probably 10 of these one by one little plates always come in handy then some more little plates one by two blue plates nothing special then we got some sand green one by one bricks which I do like because I like the color sand green a lot. Don't have a lot of those uh, parts in this color. I do have a lot of the old Harry Potter style roofs and everything, uh, but I want to make something nice with them. Not sure what, maybe a roof or a modular or whatever, but they always give, get this platina look or patina look. I'm not sure. Yeah, patina, I think it's like when copper rusts and everything and it gets this like uh, what do you call it? greenish, greenish glow on it. It's called patina, I think. So yeah, looks good for that. And on to the next thing, here we have a bag, I think also 10 one by four play pieces in blue for some water thing somewhere or whatever. We'll see about where I'm gonna be needing those. All right, next piece are these. I'm gonna get these out of the bag. I really want to show them it's difficult because they're transparent. So it's these pieces. I don't know how you call them these like stick type of things. But um, they're very nice to get like a minifigure uh, to make it appear as if it's flying off a building or to like put it straight up so you can put like a speeder bike or a little helicopter or whatever. Yeah, you know, the possibilities are endless since Lego, so. Uh, but I bought it for that purpose. I have a few of these, but still always handy to have like a flying character somewhere. All right. Uh, the next thing we got some one by two plates. Plates again, this order had a lot of plates in them so uh, dark gray this time 10 how many pieces no is it 10 pieces no eight pieces uh, so then we got some lavender i think it is lavender i'm not really sure you guys will probably tell me in the comments but uh some lavender one by one bricks uh, got a few of those pieces i really like the color my girl also made a, a mock with using the lavender uh colors from the mia's art studio i guess so and that's why I bought some of these, but now the mock is already finished, so it's not necessary, but whatever. And then these, I think I got 20 of these, like, I don't know what they're called, brackets, um, I think. Like these little, little panels, small panels, I'm not sure what the name is, but 20 of these in 10. 
and then on to the next one we got this windshield i think for like a helicopter or maybe it's, saw i think i saw some of these in the avengers set uh sets but uh yeah I'm not sure why i got this but it was so cheap so i thought i'd buy this also in combination with this um what's the what's the name of this color actually translucent blue no i'm not really sure uh, either way two of these two by three tile pieces but with the clip clips on them so i could actually clip these onto the windshield Let's see if it fits through the bag it fits through the bag okay cool and it's the same color probably not gonna use it for that but either way uh moving on we got another the smallest version of the burp i believe this is uh, also big ugly rock piece but i do quite like it don't think it's so ugly but either way i uh, also gonna use this probably in combination with the big pieces uh for the underwater area like all right then we got some more tiles for the for our sidewalks um, the sidewalks around the mud is gonna have tiles like these um this store only had 10 of them so i just bought all 10 of them they were very cheap but why not so uh yeah always nice to have those um on the next piece we got this one by two by two window pieces or window frames because they don't actually have the panes in them uh got six of these in tank color always come in handy for a small window somewhere then the next pieces are the one by two by three window pieces without the panes as well uh always nice and handy for some uh some backside windows for a modular or whatever uh, i bought a lot of white frames you'll see it in my uh, previous bricklink uh, review where i got the bigger uh one by four by six um frames so in combination it's very very nice um uh, moving on we have all right moving on now to the nicer stuff so uh starting off with this epic sticker sticker sheet it's from the lego marvel 76060 doctor strange sanctum sanctorum and it features a lot of cool stickers with some cool celtic patterns and everything so this i really like it's would make like a nice uh I don't know maybe a wall piece or a floor piece like a tile floor or whatever it looks like that so and then we got some other stuff pretty cool the book of the invisible sun so but i see the sun it's not invisible though <laughs> and then uh, moving on we got the codex imperium so i guess I'm, i don't remember properly that these that you saw some of these in the movie in the doctor strange movie itself but yeah number three here we got shambhala which is i don't really remember what it's it's from the movie of course but uh I don't remember the scene. Either way, then there's a letter to Doctor Strange, possible love letter, maybe from Tony Stark, as we have the Stark Industries right here. Pretty cool. It's also a letter, so very, very cool. If we have like an Avengers Tower or maybe somewhere, maybe a postman who's carrying these. And then we got some classic envelopes with the cool stamp, the wax stamp on it. So very cool looking. Even though Lego makes some printed ones of these, would would of course be nicer to have them printed, but I appreciate the sticker, so... Someone who doesn't buy the set like me can also use these stickers on a regular tile, whatever, white, uh, small tile. So, all right, very cool. Really loving this uh, sticker sheet. So, okay. On to the next part, we got right here. Let's flip this over. We got this number one with the uh, lightning and the skull on them. These are from a car, probably some, this is from Lego set number 10673, race car rally, it's a junior set, not really something I would buy myself, but this piece is pretty cool because it's printed, that's why a lot of junior sets, I, I like the pieces because they're all printed, so yeah, pretty cool, but I'll probably use these for maybe like a carnival ride or whatever, or something like that, always hoarding pieces like these, especially when they're cheap, never know when you can use them, so alright, moving on to the next pieces we got this big bag of what's the color like mustard or something like it's uh it's a pretty weird color i call it the piss color so yeah so, excuse my language right there but uh it's these little panels uh one by six by five or by six i'm not sure actually i'm gonna check it out it's just i think it's by six yeah it's by six one by six by six yeah uh window pane so probably i got 10 of those very cheap uh, these are from set number 10686 family house also again another junior set as you probably could have 
uh, known by this big piece with printing on it and but uh, i'll probably use these as like a facade i'm gonna stack them on top of each other i'm not sure if i'm gonna yeah, i'm probably just gonna stack them like these pretty easy pretty simple just to make a facade to make the back side of the city a bit nicer like put some life in there even though i do not really like the color but i think in the overall view of the city it will be pretty cool though so we'll see how that turns out i'll probably make a video of that as well in the future if i have time so those are the first panels so i got another set of uh, panels coming later i'm gonna show you guys so first of all we got two of these pants uh these legends of shima pants and they belong to the gorilla tribe i believe uh so uh, very cool i like these these are from set number 70125 uh, gorilla legend beast so pretty cool looking set uh, it's like a big gorilla brick built gorilla pretty cool would also be nice to put in the city uh, but yeah i think i have the same from this set i have from the big gorilla it's like the eyes i'm gonna show you guys in a bit of picture the eyes is like a printed tile as well i got these, in, these uh, i got it in another bricklink haul but i'm not sure if i have a video of that i don't think so but either way all right, moving on to the next thing. We got another pair of pants from Shima. Very cool. Always loving it when they're like doing one leg solid, the other one translucent. So this is or transparent or whatever you want to call it. So this is also dark, transparent, light blue, I guess. Uh, names. But pretty cool. Like they have in the new uh, Ninjago sets as well with the uh, new ones uh, from last year, I believe. So pretty cool. Don't know why. I bought them, they were just pretty cheap, pretty cool looking, so I thought I would take them home. So, uh, on to the next piece, pieces. We got two more of the Juniors panels. This time we got them in tan color, which is much nicer with this beautiful wooden pattern on it. Really like it. Uh, it's got two horseshoes on, on the window frame or whatever it's called. And a little bit of greenery right here, so this would fit perfectly. Maybe in a corner for like a stable for the horses because I have a shitload of horses that I still need to find a place to put them. I'm not really sure why because I'm not really gonna waste too much space on a on a place for the horses to stay in because yeah. Either way, moving on, we got this very cool. I'm gonna take it out of the bag because it's difficult to see like this. A very cool looking ghost legs so like this got the ghost legs in dark gray and i believe these are from set number seven zero five nine zero air jitsu battlegrounds but as i'm looking at it this looks dark gray and it appears that the ninjago set one looks a bit more greenish sand green so i'm not really sure i also saw that this appears as well in the banshee series 14 banshee but it's also in sand green so i'm not really sure let's see yeah all right but either way i'm gonna use it for a ghost probably someone and on the cemetery i'm gonna make a cemetery i'm gonna use this for a ghost or monster type of person so yeah uh for the last the last pieces, these two come from a junior set, uh, number 10674, uh, the pony farm, so yeah, fits figures with the horseshoes, so all right. Moving on to the next pieces, I got three of these white gorilla faces, which I could probably make something with the legs or whatever, or I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but they were pretty cool, pretty cheap again, once again, the Shima Chima parts are pretty cheap, I guess. And uh, this is from set number seven one uh, seven zero one one zero tower target tower target. So um, it's it's from one of those Chima sets with the with the little speeder bikes or whatever. The, the never had them, so I'm not really sure. I think they're the speeder bikes. So, but all right, moving on to the next part. We got this little C three PO head. Which is pretty cool I like it i do have a few of C c3po's i do have the same head a few times but i don't know i got uh i got an asian market going on with uh watto out there selling some star wars products so i'll probably i'm probably gonna add this there so we got some uh, protocol droid heads so 
that you can sell or whatever. You got some other parts as well. All right, next part, we got this thing. These things actually, and uh, they're being used by Lego S. Uh, a lot of a lot of things. So uh, I've seen these as a like a coffee gauge or whatever it's called. Uh, and as well as a parking meter, which is what I'm gonna use these for. So I'm gonna probably put these in the city uh, around, make some parking meters where the parking spaces are. So it looks a bit more diverse or whatever. All right, on to the next one. I've been collecting plain heads like these. So this is also a minifigure head. This one is in translucent orange, I guess. I'm not really sure about the exact color name. I'm sorry about that, guys. So uh, either way, I'm collecting these. I'm probably gonna do like a mono, know what it's called monochrome like minifigure head collection or whatever but i just liked it i just liked it and it's pretty cheap so i bought it all right and the next and final part here are four of these i think these are from the mixels as well in my last brick haul review i also had some the one the two by two this is the one by one tile uh version of the eyes of the mixel so um yeah always can always come in handy for whatever some creative build that requires some googly eyes on it so all right you guys this was everything i had um this haul was about 24 euros i think which is pretty okay um some of the more expensive parts were this head like 70 cents so it's a bit more uh the sticker sheet as well i think was more than one euro so probably one of the most expensive pieces in here but uh yeah for 24 euros it's pretty good i think it's about 30 bucks 30 dollars uh so yeah pretty happy with it all right guys if you like videos like these please leave a like uh subscribe as well if you want to check out some more future videos of mine um got some big things coming up gonna show you my city gonna show it uh completely so that's gonna be interesting gonna do a lego tour lego room tour um yeah so subscribe like Check out my Instagram account. Got some more things going on out there than on YouTube. Uh, need to find some more time to make these videos, but they are very time consuming. So I hope you like this. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, week, uh, month, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.